Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to a new video. It's the first, no, this is actually the second video. I was gonna say this is my first video of 2020, but this is my second video. I did post a video yesterday, which was Thursday. Today's actually Friday, and I am back with a video that I've been low-key working on for a while now. So this intro was supposed to be totally different. Um, but I lost my card, my SD card that held the original footage that was supposed to be here. What you're seeing is not what you're supposed to be seeing, if that makes any sense. Anyway, long story short, I actually got an email from Shiny Smile Veneers and they asked me if I wanted to try some snap-on veneers and I was like, uh, yes, yes I do. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, or obviously even by looking at me now, hello, I have a gap, I have a window to my soul right here in front of me. So a little background, I guess, to my teeth. Um, ever since I can remember, I've always had a gap in, my, in between my teeth ever since like I was really, really, really little. I remember always knowing that I had a cute little gap and then as I grew older, you know, it became a thing. Now, thankfully, I never experienced any bullying because of my teeth. Um, nobody ever really picked on me. And up until now that I've been on YouTube, some people have obviously been rude and have made the occasional comments about, when are you going to fix your teeth? You should fix your teeth. And you know what? I am 29 years old. If I have learned to live with my teeth for this long, I'm pretty sure I can live the rest of my life with my teeth like this. But I have always had a thought in the back of my head of if I fix my teeth, what would I look like if I got veneers, if I got braces, if I got Invisalign, how would my teeth look? With that being said, I have gone to a dentist before and I've actually been told that I should, that they do recommend for me to get braces or veneers and not for physical appearance, appearance, but because everybody's supposed to have a slight overbite. Now, when I close my mouth, I don't have an overbite. I don't know if you guys can see, but my teeth are straight. They perfectly align. That's actually not healthy, according to the dentist, because I have so many ridges in my teeth and it's because I don't have an overbite. So my teeth are literally just biting down on each other like this and it's causing ridges on my teeth which with time it can be very stressful on your teeth and it can be very bad so I was like you know what I'm gonna give these shiny smile veneers a try because why not like I said I've always been curious to see what I would look like with perfect straight teeth and without my gap I don't hate my gap I definitely don't love it but if I could find an easy solution something that I can take on and off whenever I feel like that is awesome because I want family pictures and I don't smile in my pictures and I figured trying something like this would be not only super cool um, but I would get to experience what I would look like with no gap and straight teeth on the bottom so i'm going to insert some clips of when i first when i first filmed this video because when you get your kit from shiny smile veneers you get some little molds that you just mold yourself literally like you go to the dentist you just mold it yourself it's like this little clay it's blue and white you just mix it together and then you get molds for your upper tray and then your lower tray teeth and you just mold it in that blue little mold stick it in there pop it off and then you send off your impressions you do want to make sure that you make your impressions really good because obviously that's going to uh, tell you if your veneers are going to be good or not so it is a little bit hard if you guys end up trying this don't stress out because I couldn't get it I had to do it two or three times till I got the perfect impressions for my kits but once you do that once you have your top and your bottom you just ship them back to smile veneers they actually provide a little pouch a prepaid shipping label everything you're covered put them back in send it back to them and then in about almost like 20 business days I would say more or less sometimes it can take more sometimes it can take less you get your shiny smile veneers which are in here and then you just get some other stuff so we're gonna jump right into the clip of me trying them and you guys are gonna see my first impressions 
my daughter's first impressions and my fiance's first impressions, aka Brian. So <laughs> I'm excited for you guys to see this video. And if you guys are excited, make sure you keep on watching and let's see what I look like with perfect teeth. <laughs> so it's been about two, three weeks, something like that since I first filmed this video. I now have my veneers here. I am nervous. I don't know why I am nervous to like even try them on. So when you get your veneers, you're going to get them in the same packaging and you actually get them in or what you get is you get some polygon. They're little denture cleansers to clean your veneers because you can totally eat and drink with them. They also include a little toothbrush, but I have my own toothbrush. So obviously I'm not going to use that one. And then it comes with a little packaging this is where you get your veneers. You can reuse them and just put them in here and store them. It also has a cute little mirror, so you can just pop them on. I really want to get my daughter's first impressions because, um, I mean, obviously, you know, like she's well aware that I have a gap. She has no idea that I have these. I'm, and I'm going to try to FaceTime Brian to see his reaction as well because I think everybody's going to be like, what the hell? You got new teeth? What is going on? So first things first, let me pop these on and let's see what this is all about. I am so nervous. Ah! So this is the top veneer and then this is the bottom veneer. So I'm going to do the top one first. Oh my God, I am so nervous. So this is my teeth before I have really small teeth and I feel like I have a lot of gum. Um, and then obviously I have a gap in my two front teeth. And then these teeth down here are kind of shifted. They're not too bad, but obviously my gap is the most prominent, most eye-catching thing. So we're going to put the top veneers first. Oh my god, I feel so weird. <laughs> oh my god, this feels so weird. I'm gonna have a lisp. What the heck? <laughs> I can't. What the heck? Oh my god, this is so weird. <clears throat> I didn't get these as white because I didn't want them to look too fake. Um, because I feel like the whiter you go, the more fake they look. And then these being like press on veneers. Okay, let's do the bottom ones. Oh, those were a lot easier to pop on. This is what they look like. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to go call Lonnie. She's upstairs in her room. And we're going to get her reaction on camera. I'm going to show you something, okay? And I want you to tell me what you think. Are you ready? One, two, three. What? What do you, you think? You look like your pizza. <laughs> Why? You got a bigger tooth in the middle. <laughs> what do you think? How do I look? Weird. <laughs> Why? Because. Do you think I look good? Or do you think I look better with my old teeth? Better with your old teeth. Yeah? Why? Because you don't have a big old <laughs> two teeth. But I don't have a gap anymore, remember? So she was totally <laughs> not expecting that. Um, I'm going to see if I can call Brian and let's see if he answers. He's at work right now, so... I'm filming the video for my veneers. veneers. Yeah, I just got Lonnie's first impression, so tell me what you think, okay? Ready? One, 
two, three. Lani yes. said that I look like Tia Lupita because I have Lupita. two big front teeth now. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's a little hard to tell on the camera, but it looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Do I look different? Do I sound different? No. Your, your gesture, like the way you move your mouth is a little different though. What do you mean? See, like you're like... <laughs> yeah, it's because it's well, weird. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I look so weird. It's like my tia nena. Oh my god, when she first got her new teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, babe. You're welcome. Bye. This is definitely new to me. Okay, so I'm gonna take off. Um, let me take off the bottom. I want to see how I look with just the top. <laughs> just, just the top. Excuse me, these pop right off. Oh, I have lipstick on. I? I think it just takes some getting used to because obviously I'm not used to my teeth being like, they're a little bit bigger than my natural teeth, which I like because I hate my teeth. They're so tiny. I wonder if this is how I would look if I actually got like veneers like put on me which I've always wanted but they're so expensive so I thought this was a great way to see how I would look with perfect straight teeth and wow I am shook I'm gonna take off the top and just leave on the bottom ah okay let's put on just the bottom I feel like you can't even see, like when I smile, you can just mainly see the top teeth and a little bit of the bottom teeth. Not as much, but I do like how straight they look. I definitely don't think I can get away with just wearing the bottom and not the top because there's a slight difference in shape and color oh my god i think this is such a cool thing i think this is perfect for somebody that is extremely um self-conscious about their teeth i mean i'm self-conscious to a certain point um and i would definitely wear these for pictures because i never ever smile in my pictures if you guys scroll through my instagram i i don't think i have any pictures of me smiling i don't like my smile and so i don't smile in pictures and i've been wanting to take family pictures but that is the reason why i don't take family pictures is because my daughter's gonna smile brian's gonna smile brian has really nice teeth he got his teeth fixed when he was young he had braces and i'm the only one that's always gonna be like this so i thought this was a great idea and I honestly think I would definitely wear these for family pictures. I don't know that I would wear them for an everyday like thing because I know that they take some time getting used to. But again, for pictures, this is perfect and it would just make me feel so much better about my smile in my pictures. I am genuinely so happy that I gave these a chance because I've always wondered what would I look like with perfect straight teeth and now i have my answer obviously every dentist is going to be different so if i ever actually get veneers they might look different if i get braces they're not going to look like this my teeth are just going to be tiny as they are but just straight and that's a possibility that i might think of in the future to eventually get my teeth fixed i'm not sure but wow these are so cool they just need some getting used to if you plan on wearing them every day but wow that is so cool that they offer something like this to the average person because like i said veneers are extremely expensive i am so happy that i experienced this with you guys definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you think do you prefer my old teeth or do you like this set of veneers thank you guys for watching this random video i just really wanted to try this system out and see 
how it worked and if it worked and the results and I am pretty impressed. So that is it for me, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.